guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I don't have any makeup on my face because after six months, finally, namili na naman po ako ng mga makeup dito sa America. First time in forever na six months na nakatiis ako, hindi talaga ako bumibili kahit ng Sephora sale. Hindi ako bumili ng anything makeup. Puro skincare products yung binili ko. Actually, yung parang... Yung mga makeup lang na nabili ko is the makeup that I buy from the Philippines, yung mga local brands natin doon. But anyway, sobrang na-excite lang ako kasi first time ko din lumabas the other day. May kailangan ka bibilhin sa grocery, tapos vinlog ko yun kung ano yung experience ko going out. Then I saw a lot of new products that I've been wanting to test out for a while and sabi ko, ito na, ito na yung chance ko. So sabi ko, so kahapon lang yun and now ito na, mag-film na ako kasi sobrang na-excite talaga ako. So if you want to see what I think about these new makeup products, then just keep on watching. So let's start off with eyeshadow because nung nakita ko talaga to, sabi ko, shock, yun yung nire-rave ng mala maraming beauty guru sa YouTube, so, you know, YouTube University. And sobrang nagustuhan nilang lahat and sobrang mura. Tapos I love it kasi nga nahihilig ako sa mga maliliit na eyeshadow quads. Recently, kasi mas, hindi, mas madali siyang gamitin and hindi siya masyadong nakaka-overwhelm. You only have four colors to choose from. Tapos ang dali niya gamitin because they all go well with each other. So ito nga, yung e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow. So I got three out of the six shades because initially I wanted to buy all six shades pero naisip ko sayang naman kasi other shades were kind of similar with each other. Other shades were too light for my skin tone. The first one that I got is pumpkin spice. So ito parang neutral siya. Ayun. Peel for a little pick me up. Ah! Ayan. Sobrang easy niyang ibuksan. Ayun. So in fairness naman to this bite size eyeshadow, $3 lang to or 150 pesos. I did see this on Shopee and it's only 300 pesos which isn't that bad I guess depending sa quality niya because all I've seen is amazing reviews about this product so now matitest na natin siya. But anyway, like I said, the first shade is Pumpkin Spice. So it's a neutral brown bronze color palette. You have two matte shades right here and then you have your shimmer shades naman dito sa kabila. And then sabi ko, para truly matest out natin yung, yung palette na to, let's get a smoky one because yung mga darker shades, usually dyan sila pumapali. Eh. Parang magiging patchy sila. So I got this palette. This one is the Truffles naman. So it also has two brown shades, matte brown shades right here, and two shimmer shades. May shimmer black dito. So perfect for a smoky eye look. And then the third palette is Berry Bad, which is your pink mauves. Ayan, sobrang favorite ko yung mga mauve looks and feeling ko bagay siya sa akin. This one naman, you have two matte pink shades right here. This one is a lighter pink, which I think is a good transition shade. Tapos ito yung pang deepen ng look nyo. And then you have two shimmer shades in the middle. So for today's look, I'm gonna go for a more neutral look. And we're gonna use pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna try these two off camera na lang throughout the end of the week. And then I'll add a comment down in the description box on what I think about these two palettes. So for this video, ito yung test out natin. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie pala. Akala ako pumpkin spice. So may nag... Hindi na naman ako sanay mag-makeup. So for primer, I'm just gonna use the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, we're gonna set the primer with the Essence All About Matte Powder and ayan, nasira ko na po yung packaging niya, guys. So, you guys, I decided to do yung isang eye ko muna para pag kinausap ko kayo or pag ina habang ina-apply ko yung eyeshadow dito sa kabilang eye, meron na akong first impressions on what I think about the eyeshadow palette. So yeah, let's start. I know, hindi pa siya super okay, pero mamaya pag naka-foundation na tayo natapos na yung makeup, magiging okay din yan. Wow. So, like I said, we are using the pumpkin pie palette, and ito yung neutral browns na shade. So what I'm doing is, I'm just grabbing a blending brush, and we're gonna use this light brown transition shade right here. 
And you know what? The first time that I used this, even yung transition shade, it reminded me so much of the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. I'm not sure if you guys have tried that, pero limited edition siya nung holiday. Ganda ng formula nun. Parang, para siyang, parang hindi siya drugstore. Ang bilis niya i-spread. What I mean is, ang bilis niya i-blend. It's super buildable. And hindi siya patchy kahit yung mga darker shades niya. And this palette, this $3 palette, reminds me of that. As in, wala din tong fallout nung ina-apply ko. It's a palette that I wouldn't be afraid of using after I've already applied eyeshadow. So, like I said, we're just applying the transition shade all over the crease. So, hindi siya yung super pigmented right at the, right at the, what do you, how do I say that? Yung pagkalagay nyo, sobrang makolor na siya. No, you gotta build it up. So that's why I think it's really nice because mas prefer ko yon yung mga formula na apply mo siya, ibi blend mo kasi parang feeling ko mas maganda yung itsura niya kapag nagaad ka ng nagaad kesa sa sobrang pigmented niya tapos ita try mo pa nipisin. Well, that's just my opinion and that's what I think about this palette. Ayan, ang ganda ng transition shade niya. It's very perfect for my color or my skin tone, I feel like. It's the right warmth and it's the right um, darkness as well. Sin kita mo siya. So after the transition shade, I'm just grabbing a tapered blending brush. This is from Sigma. I'm taking the cooler tone um, brown shade right here, and that's what I'm going to use to deepen out the crease. Ang galing din nito because these are two different tones. Yung transition mo is way way warmer than your crease shade pero maganda naman yung pagka blend niya together hindi siya masyadong pangit so i'm applying that really focusing on the outer corner and then yung crease to deepen that and really define your crease area tapos on the inner corner so like i said kailangan mo nga siya i-build up hindi siya yung super pigmented at the onset Then what I like to do is go back to my blending brush. <laughs> what I like to do is go back to my blending brush. Tapos ibi blend ko lang yung dalawang color together para mas seamless yung look. So I did try to apply the shimmers with my ring finger, pero Parang hindi yung payoff niya, hindi ganun kaganda. So what I did was I grabbed a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm taking this bronze shade right here, yung katabi, yung, yung middle na bronze shade. I don't know how to explain it. Eh. And then I'm just taking a setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And then one spritz. And then I'll apply this all over my lid. And then for me, masyadong warm yung pagka-bronze nito. So what I'm going to do is, I'll take this um, this other shimmer shade right here. Yun lang, walang names yung colors niya. So, manghula. So ang hirap niya i-explain habang, ganyari, kung gagamitin niyo siya for a tutorial, ganyan. Pero four shades lang naman eh. Then I'm going to top off the first shimmer. Off niya, okay naman. Aray. So again, blending brush lang. Then for my lower, not lower lashes, but this lower area. <laughs> lower area! I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm taking this, um, I'm taking this small smudge brush. This is from the brand Luxie. Tapos, I'm going to take this um, darker matte shade, yung cooler matte shade, I bet. I, I bet. And then I'm just gonna apply that all over my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the transition shade with the shame, shame, same brush. Cannot talk. And again, applying that on the lower eye area. Lower eye area. Kailang ko yata mag-aral ng parts of the face. 
So that is our eyeshadow. So far, so good. I don't know the longevity yet. We are going to do a wear test today. Haven't done that in a while as well. And I'm very excited to see how this will look at the end of this video. So now let's go to the face products. Okay, now for our face products. So I've been looking for a new drugstore primer just because I love my NYX Angel Veil primer. Pero gusto ko lang ng something new. And I saw this CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Anti-Aging Foundation Primer. Since I've hit my mid-twenties, feeling ko kailangan nag invest na din ako sa mga anti-aging products. And just a quick glance on this primer sa ingredients niya, ang nakita kong unang parang sort of anti-aging ingredient niya is glycerin and niacinamide. I love niacinamide. I don't know why. Like, I haven't seen any significant difference, pero I love how it feels on my skin. I just started using niacinamide serum, the one from The Ordinary, and I can't really stand by whether it has changed my skin or not just because I just started using it and for a lot of skincare products, you do have to use it for a long time before you're able to see significant differences on your skin. So, hindi ko masasabi, pero I love the benefits of niacinamide. So, it's great that this has niacinamide. So, you really know that it has those ingredients which support the claim that it's anti-aging. So, let's try this. It's also a water-based primer, so this is best used with products na or foundations na water-based trin. Siyempre, hindi pwede oil-based kasi water and oil don't mix that well together. So, ayan yung consistency niya. Parang lotion yung consistency, similar to a NYX Angel Veil. Parang unang pahid ko lang, unang pahid ko pa lang, parang yung feeling niya is NYX Angel Veil. It's very, it's like a lotion on your face. So, Okay yung feeling niya. Para ka lang nag apply ng moisturizer. Feel like I need one more pump. Okay rin yung packaging niya. Very sanitary because it comes with a pump. I think, oh, air pump din to. So yung air pump yung habang pinapump po siya, in lift niya pataas yung products. I, I, I don't think I can open it. But I, I can't show you guys. Pero how, how can I explain what the air pump is? Ah, alam ko na. Hold on. I'll show you guys in a bit really feels like a lotion for your face. I feel like sobrang hydrated ng face ko and very moisturized siya. I like it so far. Pero we'll see kung mapapaganda niya talaga yung application ng foundation natin. So before that, I'll show you guys kung ano yung minimin ko. Bakit ko siya nagustuhan dahil air pump siya. This is my Drunk Elephant TLC Frambus. Ayan, natanggal ko. So ito yung loob ng ito yung loob ng Frambus. And as you can see, Ayan pa, ganyan pa kadami yung product. So, at the beginning of this, syempre hanggang dyan yan kasi puno pa yung product. So, as you pump it, umaakit yung parang circular thing na to. So, walang nasasayang na product. At the end of the day, pag naubos nyo siya, empty talaga yung bottle. So, a lot of times, sobrang gusto ko pag ganun yung lalagyanan because I know na masasulit ko talaga siya. Sometimes kasi, syempre, pag squeezy tube siya, may natitira at natitira dun sa loob. Pag pump din siya, meron natitira sa sa bottom because hindi yun yung hindi na aabot ng parang parang straw within it so when it comes to the air pump yun talaga yung gusto ko because feeling ko na nagagamit ko lahat ng laman ng bottle na yon anyway for foundation this is fairly new then pero this is not my first time using it because we are using a new primer I didn't want to test out a new foundation as well I did want to buy the Wet and Wild Dewy foundation pero like I said bago yung primer and mas kilangan ko ng bagong primer as opposed to a new foundation because I had this pa naman so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation the first time that I used this I didn't really like it that much pero as as the days go by na mas lagi ko siyang ginagamit I finally found out na I don't really need a lot of this foundation on my face. Kasi pag mad, na para may yung lagay ko nito, nag, yung tendency niya is because of the fact that it has like a satin, a mix satin matte finish. So yun yung nagbibigay sa kanya ng natural looking um, finish. Pag na para may siya, may tendency na nagsisink in siya sa lines ko. Nag, Nagbumukha yung face ko parang pagod or tired looking yung magiging itsura mo at the end of the day. So... One pump is actually enough, should be enough to cover your entire face. If not, sobrang, sobrang dami. Sobrang dami or masasobrahan siya. So usually I start off with my areas, my problem areas, which is this area where I have redness and veins peeking through. Tapos a little bit on my forehead because I've been breaking out. And then we're just gonna blend that in with a beauty blender. For this foundation then, hindi ko siya masyadong gusto with a brush just because... I don't need that much coverage. I feel like blending it with a sponge is the best way to get that really natural looking coverage. Another thing that I like about this foundation is since I've started 
getting into the more natural looking um, makeup looks and not so much the full coverage look. The finish of your skin is not completely cover. It lets your skin kind of peek through. So, you even out your skin, but at the end of the day, makikita mo pa rin yung, parang yung skin mo pa rin yung nakikita mo, hindi foundation. May iba kasing foundation na makikita mo talaga, oy, naka-makeup siya. Pero meron ding foundation na pag nakita mo, naka-makeup, pero, how do I say? Basta natural, very natural, natural talaga yung finish niya. Hindi siya masyadong heavy. And it's also very lightweight, ha? That's one thing I can say about this foundation. Parang, at the end of the day, nakakalimutan ko na may makeup ako because it, I don't feel sleepy. That's how I know na, Medyo mabigat yung makeup na suot ko kasi feeling ko well rested naman ako pero inaantok ako. That only means na medyo heavy yung suot ko na makeup that day. And ito, sobrang lightweight, hindi ko talaga nafe-feel at all. Walang halong chenes, as in, totoo. So like I said, kapag foundation or any face products talaga, foundation and concealer, I take my time to really play with it kasi... Sa first go, hindi mo pa talaga maaalam eh. Unless mag-breakout ka ng sobra, then you know it's not working for you. But a lot of these products, kailangan couple, kailangan couple of days ko siya ginagamit para okay, naparami ako siguro nung day na to, kaya ganyan yung naging itsura, or kulang yung na-apply ko, or it doesn't work with this primer, ganyan. This is also a water-based product, so it will go really well with this primer because th these are both water-based products. I've tried the e.l.f. camo concealer before and now lumabas na sila with a hydrating formula which I love because I do have dry skin it's except for um, summer. Summer, usually normal yung skin type ko. Pero itry na natin to. It's a hydrating camo concealer in the satin finish. I did use this a couple of times na before so I know how it wears. And yun lang. Ang masasabi ko naman dito with like any other hydrating concealer, it has a tendency not really to sink in your lines pero it sometimes creases. That's why that's something that I found out fairly recently na whenever I use something that's too hydrating on my skin or when I, whenever I use a concealer that's a hydrating formula, I can see it's not that bad, ha? It's not super, it's not super cringy naman. Pero na, nakikita ko lang talaga na, okay, nagkakaroon siya ng little creases. Pero overall, maganda yung itsura niya because very natural kasi kapag yung products na ginagamit mo is hydrating or it has like a dewy satin finish when you have like dry or normal skin. Pero syempre, pag oily yung skin mo, huwag kagagamit yan because magmamantika ka talaga. Anyway, I'm just gonna spray my blender with some setting spray. I find that this is the best way to blend out concealer. I put concealer on top of like the eyeshadow on this side. Pero okay lang yan. Ulitin na lang natin. Not naman ulitin, but we'll layer na lang later. I don't really have to carve out my brows today just because bagong linis yung brows ko. So we're, we're going to set my entire face na. I'm just going to set my under eye concealer first, not my entire face because we are going to use a cream product after pa. So I have my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Palette and I have the Japanese powder right here and that's what we're going to use to set lang my under eyes. So I don't really bake that much anymore just because if it's a more natural everyday look, mas gusto ko yung normal setting powder lang with the brush. There. Not sure if you guys can see that, but there's a little bit of lines na here. Ayan. Dun siya nagsiset. Pero when you zoom out, and you look at my overall face, okay siya kasi hindi super matte yung under eyes ko. Pero pag wala naman siguro lalapit sa inyo na sobrang lapit na makikita nila yung lines, overall okay siya. Pero yun nga lang, if you really zoom in your face, you'll see a little bit of lines. Because with hydrating formulas, and when it comes to concealers with hydrating formula, formulas, I really see that it really sinks in sa mga lines. Especially if you're, you have more mature skin. Actually, I don't know. Would you have? I eh, ko. Feeling ko lang talaga. If you have lines there, it will sink in. Pero it's not that bad. Like overall, okay naman siya, de ba? 
But now, we are going to be testing out a new brush, fairly new. Um, I did disinfect this before I start using it. Don't copy me. Siyempre, gumagawa lang ako ng video ngayon and gusto ko na ma-film to, kaya ako siya gagamitin. But I did disinfect this with a makeup brush cleaner. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers rave about this brush because it's great daw talaga for blending out cream products. And I've been into cream contour for a little bit. I don't know what it is. So, I decided to invest in... Wow! Invest! $6 lang to. So, fairly mura siya for a brush. So, a lot of my other brushes are... Sigma, which is around $20, $25 when it comes to like the face brushes. Tapos yung mga Sephora na brushes is around $30. So $6. Pedeng pede na. So we are using the cream contour from my Natasha Denona palette. And this is how I usually co cream contour. So tinitrace ko lang talaga yung out outline ng face ko. So of course, on my nose. Auntie lang. Not too much because we're going for a semi-natural look. Then we're going to use this brush to blend it out. Parang like okay naman siya. And it's not moving my foundation. That's one thing I can say. Ooh, oo nga, okay nga to. Okay nga siya pang blend ng cream contour kasi hindi siya masyadong dense. So, hindi niya namumove yung foundation, pero namumove niya yung contour. Ah! Maganda nga siya. So, hopefully lang, hindi siya mabilis mag-shed. Kasi that's something that I've found with a lot of e.l.f. brushes. Medyo may tendency siya na mabilis mag-shred. Pero for $6, like, what do you expect? Okay, I'm gonna do my other side na. blend guys. Ah, sobrang dali mag-apply ng cream products. I mean, ng cream contour with this brush. Love it. Okay, let's apply some bronzer. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is not new. So, bronze lang tayo saglit. Okay, so I'm going to set lang my chin, like this area, with powder. Kasi hindi tayo mag apply ng other colored products. This area na yan. So I'm just taking my big powder brush and of course that Japanese powder. And then we're gonna set first our forehead. Kasi nga may tendency na ako mag oil up ngayon dahil summer na. Then yan. Hindi ko pala may nakeupan yung neck ko today. Nakalimutan ko. Nakakaloka si Eunice. Ay! So we have another new product from Wet n Wild and this is the Mega Glow Hello Halo Blush and Highlighter Duo. I got it in the shade I Met Someone. Okay, let's start with the blush shade right here. Um, sa swatch ko lang siya quick. Oh, ang ganda niya. Parang pinkish siya. So hindi ko alam kung bagay siya sa eyeshadow ko pero we'll see. It's not too bad because the color is very sheer. Sobrang ang shimmer niya lang. As in, kailangan ko ba mag highlighter? Parang hindi na shocks. Hui ang ganda. Sobrang shiny po. Cheek guys, cheekbones. In fairness, maganda siya. Ako gusto ko siya. Yung nga lang wag masyadong madami kasi sobrang in fairness, ang ganda ng formula niya. Sobrang dali apply hindi ko masasabing natural look siya because sobrang sino po ang may ganyang kataas na cheekbones? <laughs> hindi ko alam, te. Pero ang ganda niya. And $5 lang to, ha? So hopefully it lasts throughout the whole day. Cheekbones ba, te? <laughs> oh my god. Talagang cheeks. Anyway, may kasama siyang highlighter on the other side and Magsispray muna ako ng setting spray. For today, we're gonna use the Milani Make It Last para fair game tayo. Talagang pinapaliguan ko po yung mukha ko ng setting spray. Um, and then, while the setting spray is still kind of wet, we're gonna apply naman the highlighter. Um, dumilim. Yung lighting ko minsan, parang si Raulo. Nag-overheat ka ba, te? At 
nanghihina ka dyan. Okay. So, for sure, parang hindi ko na kailangan po ng highlight dyan. So, dito na lang sa medyo taas. Para lang magpantay. And then, sa brow bone. And then, sa inner corner ng eyes. Tapos, sa nose. Wow! Mm. For this one, guys, kailangan light hand because a little goes a long way. I've always loved their Mega Glow highlighters, pero ito, yung blush niya, in fairness, talagang kung mahilig kayo sa ganyang pa dewy dewy na, di, di na nga dewy yan, sobrang shiny na, oh. Anyway, we're gonna be testing out a mascara, so I need to grab my lash curler. Nakalimutan. Okay, so we'll be testing out a new mascara, and this is the L'Oreal Unlimited Unlimited mascara, unlimited length and lift. Ang claim niya is up to 24 hour, hour uh, up to 24 hours lash lifting power and sobrang kakaiba ng packaging niya. Let's pull it out. Para siyang nail polish, sa totoo lang. Hindi ko alam bakit ang dilim. Ayan. Para siyang nail polish, sa totoo lang. What do you guys think? So, it says remove and leave. Rem oh, remove. So, just remove this. Then open that. Oh. Okay. I got the shade black brown, huh? It reminds me of the Dare Real blush ng Benefit. And then one thing that I. Oh, nabi bend. Para. Oh, oh, nga naman. Okay. So nabi bend yung. Guys. Guys. Guys, ako ng guys. Kasi hindi nag aano yung nag focus. Nabi bend yung handle niya. Para madali siya i. Um, apply dun sa outer corner. So, i-curl ko lang muna yung lashes ko para matest na natin to. Ah! So excited. Medyo mahal siya. $10 siya. Pero, let's see. Kung hindi ko na kailangan mag-heroin make before ako mag-apply ng normal mascara, why not? Okay. Curl na po yung lashes natin. So, let's start with the inner corner tapos palabas. Ay, in fairness. Okay, tapos i-pen natin. Oh, Masyala talaga. Ay, o, oh, diba? Abot na tayo dun sa dulo. Tapos madali din pag sa lower lashes. Uy, in fairness, ang dali niyang gamitin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply lashes lang on the other side, but here's the difference. It's very natural looking. Um, ang masasabi ko lang, hindi siya super lifted. Parang bumagsak na siya. ba? Parang bumagsak na. Hindi siya yung super open na open. Yun lang. Pero we'll see. Baka kailangan lang mag-dry out ng onti nung formula nito. Because kakabukas ko pa lang niya or naparami yung lagay ko. So, let's try it on the other side. Okay, itong side na to, hindi ko masyado binilt up. Um, isang layer lang siya. Pero hindi rin siya super naka-open yung lashes ko. Although, okay naman siya. But we'll see. I need to wear test this a couple of days para makita ko kung ma-hold niya ba yung lashes ko. But so far, bumabagsak yung lashes ko. So now I'm just gonna apply some lipstick. This is not new. This is the L'Oreal Rouge um, lipstick. This is one of my favorite lipsticks for me. Lipsticks formula. Lipstick formula because it's super lightweight and I don't feel it on my lips talaga. Maganda din yung color niya. So here is the finished makeup look. We're gonna do a quick run rundown of all the pr the product of all the products that I tested out today, and then we're gonna do um probably an eight hour wear test because what time is it? It is 12:15, so mga eight o'clock today. 
8 o'clock today tayo mag end ng day. Yes! 12 o'clock pala! Yes! Nakapag-film na ako. But anyway, first and foremost, the eyeshadow. Ako, for me, I like it. It's very easy to use. And yung mga shades niya, ito, di ba? One look, one palette. O, hindi ka na mag-iisip kasi yan na. Andiyan na yung transition. Andiyan na yung pang deepen ng crease. Nagki-crease ba yung shimmer a little bit? I mean, you can definitely see some lines. Right there, pero pag malayo, pag naka-open naman yung eyes mo, okay naman siya. Pero pag naka-open naman yung eyes nyo, okay naman siya. Wala masyadong fallout. We'll see how long it lasts on my lid throughout the whole day. Is it gonna fade or not? Do natin malalaman kasi $3 lang to and super good siya. If Especially if you're just trying to get into eyeshadow because hindi mo kailangan mag-isip, hindi siya overwhelming. It's, it'll be fun to play with. The CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Anti-Aging Foundation Primer. So far, so far, I like it. Like I said, it's like a lotion for your face. It's very similar to the NYX Angel Veil. This is actually way cheaper because the NYX Angel Veil is, I think it retails for $15 here. So, mas mahal siya ng mga... Halos $5 then because I think this is $11. So check na lang at your local store kung magkano siya. But to, for it to have like anti-aging properties or like skin carrying ingredients like glycerin and niacinamide, I think this will give you the bang for your buck. And then of course the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. Like I said, this is something that I really like especially if you're into more natural makeup looks pero gusto mong cover yung blemishes mo. It has a nice medium coverage. I don't think that you can build it up to into full coverage because as soon as I build this up into full coverage, medyo nagsisink in na siya sa lice. lice. Medyo nagsisink in na siya sa lines ko and may tendency yung face ko na magmukhang pagod. As in, makikita mo yun eh. Hindi siya, hindi ka na mukhang fresh. Mukha ka na, ugh. And then, another complexion product, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Even though I have dry to normal skin, I definitely prefer the original version of this one just because with any hydrating concealer, I always see myself na nagsisink in siya sa lines ko. Hindi siya sobrang palakado. Although, pag malayo, maganda siya tignan kasi medyo dewy-dewy, fresh-fresh yung look na nabibigay niya. Although, maganda yung coverage nito. It's very high coverage for something that's worth $5. Next, we have the e.l.f. Ultimate blending brush for six dollars i really like it it did blend out my cream contour really nicely it blended it out to a look na mas mukha siyang natural well blended and walang like walang harsh na line which is something that i really experience if you've seen my other vlogs minsan parang nakikita ko yung sarili ko as in pag nag-edit na lang ako nakikita ko yung sarili ko na shocks parang ang harsh nung contour ko because hindi ko pala siya nabiblend ng maayos and this one just really blends it out really well it's very soft and it's not too dense na it will move your foundation when you're blending out your cream products so i really like it but i do have to continue using this and i do have to like test um wash test it kung magsha-shed siya ng hair or ng brushes kasi right now may onti siyang shedding ha pero for six dollars what do you expect next is the wet and wild mega glow hello halo blush lighter highlighter and so far sobrang nagustuhan ko siya ako kasi mahilig ako sa mga ganyang may pa grabing plakadong um, what do you call this? The highlight is on. As in yung cheekbones ko parang ang taas. So, super gusto ko siya. And yung shade niya, very subtle lang yung color. So, even with a warmer tone like browns na eyeshadow look, bumaga yung pagka pink nito because very subtle nga lang siya. And then with the mascara, so far, bumagsak yung lashes ko. Pero it's not that bad. Gusto ko siya sa lower lash line ha. As in, naka-open talaga siya. And ang dali niyang gamitin. Sobrang walang lampa. So, beginner-friendly din to. So, sobrang user-friendly niya. And I love the fact that nag-curve yung um, nag-angle ng ganyan yung pinaka-handle niya. So, mas madali mag-apply ng mascara dun sa outer corner. Yeah, outer corner ng eyes niyo. So, so far, so good. But I do have to keep using this para kapag nagtuyo na ng onti yung formula niya, makikita natin yung difference nung hold nung mascara na to sa lashes. So yeah, that is like the midpoint like impressions of these products. If you guys want to stay for the wear test, then just keep on watching. But if not, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. So we'll do a quick 8 hour wear test. Here is... Hey guys, so it is 4 o'clock and it's our halfway point na ng wear test natin for the day. And so far, 
yung eyeshadow ko looks the same. Hindi pa siya nahuhulas or anything like that. I've been baking downstairs, so pinagpapawisan ako. So that's the only problem. As you can see, since nag-oil up na ako, masyadong ma-highlight yung mukha ko. So mukha, nagmumukha ko masyadong makintab. So yun lang yung comment ko with the blush. Siguro concentrated on this area lang and huwag masyado dun sa cheeks, lalo na kapag may imperfection kayo. Kasi pag nilagyan nyo ng highlighter, yung kunyari, yung pimple area nyo, mas lalo siyang mag appear Yun lang yung comment ko. My foundation still looks okay naman. And so far, I'm liking the primer kasi parang good everyday primer lang siya. Pa, hindi niya nasira yung um, look nung foundation and very natural pa rin yung itsura niya. Tapos, when it comes to my concealer, I'm gonna show you guys ha. Pag zinoom in nyo yan, ayan, dyan yung makikita yung problema ko. Ayan yung concealer. Medyo may lines na siya. Yung foundation ko, medyo nagsisink in siya. Kasi masyadong hydrating yung combination ko ng um, yung combination ko ng hydrating concealer, hydrating foundation, tapos yung primer ko din siguro is masyadong hydrating. So, yung lahat ng combination na yun, ayan, sobrang nag-oil yung skin ko. Siguro kailangan ko mag-blot. Try natin mag-blot. Normal yung skin type ko, ha. Ah. Pero, nag-oily ako kapag summertime kasi nga humid dito. Ayan, so I'm going to blot. Yung nose ko kasi parang sobrang oily na. Hindi kasi ako din nag-bake. So, ayan. Kita niyo naman yung oil. So, after ko mag-blot, parang okay na siya. A lot better looking. Hindi na ako super oily tignan. And, I mean, you can really see the highlight talaga. As you can see, hindi pa siya natatanggal. Huh! So, that's it for my update. Oh, o nga pala, yung mascara ko. So far, ganito din yung itsura niya. I mean, so far, okay naman siya. Like I said, hindi siya super lifted, pero na-keep niya yung lift niya from when we when we started the day kanina. So, yeah, that is it for my midday update. Midday update. Hey, guys. So, it is 8 o'clock na, and it's time for our last check-in as I'm just using, like, the sunlight para kitang-kita nyo yung face ko and what's different. So, as you can see, nahulas na yung um, foundation ko dito sa my nose because I wore eyeglasses while watching K-drama. So, ayan, hulas na siya. Pero everywhere else, kitang-kita mo naman yung difference. Ayan yung wala ng foundation. Tapos, ayan yung meron pang foundation. So, very okay naman yung wear niya. Yun nga lang, as you can see. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Ayan siya. Ayan yung itsura niya pag zoomed in. Okay naman siya. It's not really not that bad. Um, when it comes to the concealer, same pa rin yung itsura niya sa itsura niya kanina ng 4-hour mark. And then, yung problem ko is yung mascara. Medyo nag-smudge siya. Ayan, no? So, kapag mainit sa labas, huwag niyong gagamitin tong mascara ng to because nagsismudge siya. Yung eyeshadow ko naman, as you can see, okay pa siya. Yung may patch dyan, ba? Diba? Hindi yan crease. Nangati yung eyes ko kanina, tas kinamot ko. Kasi tingnan niyo yung kabila. Mas okay pa siya. May onting creasing, as in onting onte pero overall, Maganda pa rin naman. What else? The blush and the highlighter. Sobrang long-lasting. Ayan, plakadong-plakado pa rin yung highlight ko. Tsaka yung blush, kitang-kita pa rin. So, overall, I did enjoy everything. Siyempre, yung mascara, itatry ko siya ulit. Pero like I said, may onting smudging siya. And hindi pa ako sobrang pina pinawisan ako ng onte pero hindi like todo pawis. So, kung papawisan kayo, huwag niyong gagamitin yung mascara na to kasi... Parang nag-smudge na agad siya. And then yung concealer, like I said, may onting lines. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You found it very helpful. Don't forget to take a break every once in a while because you deserve it. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!